folks uh, a little behind on the video I was supposed to do it last night but uh, never got around to doing it so we'll do it tonight it's only a simple little simple little modification I guess you want to call it um, so I got me stepper bit ready to go these comes in handy for zzz, 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 dropping holes making them whatever I got uh, four different sizes of these and they work awesome for putting connectors in middle enclosures. Anyway, so uh, I guess what we'll do, I'm going to put the connector here, since it's got a big gaping hole there. Figured I'd put it there. Um, a couple more connections here. I could probably put a couple B and C's, maybe. I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that. But he's going here for certain. Anyways, so let's, uh, let's drill a hole or two and see what we can come up with. Okay, so after uh, taking the old stepper bit here, drilling into the metal, make it big enough to sit this whole thing into, we are left with this there. So now I just need to rotate the connector a little bit that way, as there's a um, Little standoff here that used to hold the transformer. I like to keep that intact. So the uh, mount for the connector will actually mount like that. And then I'll bolt that down. And this should hold her all together. So yeah. Basically what I'm going to do with this thing is after I'm done, I just plan on probably just putting it up here. Or right there, or something. I don't know. I haven't decided. <clears throat> or probably in here. Basically, just connect a, a patch cable to it when I'm ready for it. So, anyways, let's get the, let's get this uh, here uh, connectorial uh, mounted to this case. Alright, so we have the connector now mounted, just like that, and yeah, so now we can just put our resistor, awful big box for this I know, <laughs> but hey, what the hell, so we can put a bit of solder on the uh, Case here around the body of the connector and solder there, and then we've got a 50 ohm dummy load. Hmm. I can see if I've got one of those little tabs sort of thing that goes underneath the screw here and comes up. Um, hmm. Wonder if I have one of them. Let's have a look and see if I do. Hey folks, there we go. Got my tab put on there. And uh, got my resistor soldered in. So right there, that there, is a 5 watt 50 ohm dummy load. <laughs> uh, so now if I want it to on eBay, I could buy a big old 50 ohm uh, high wattage rip, um, resistor and put inside this case I really wanted to and uh, if I needed to tune the power a little bit I could probably even add a couple tuning caps in this to put across it if I needed to tune it a little tiny bit but I think that would be fine there you go easy enough not do it easy sneezy and uh, that's pretty much it. Let's get the piece of coax here. If it uh, will cooperate and come out, we'll do. There we go. So, basically, the cover will be on it, like so. Piece coax to that end, 
and then this end here radio, DCB radio. And this is it. There's a 5 watt, 50 ohm dummy load. Right there. Don't come more simpler than that. <laughs> Anyways, I know it's only a quick video, but uh, I'll see what else I can uh, come up with here tonight. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it.